Hey guys, it's Alila Sarah, and in this video, I am doing an accessory haul. Um, I said I was going to step up my game with my accessories as far as like integrating um, different pieces. I have a lot of different accessories, um, but I don't ever really wear them a lot. Um, so I want to start like integrating them and wearing them more often. Um, so I decided to add to my collection. And then again, like I said, start wearing the pieces I already have. So I'm doing a haul in this video. And I'm also announcing the winner of the Pulling Strings giveaway. And um, hopefully that person will be really excited. Um, the person was chosen through random.org. And I'll announce that at the end of the video. So you guys have to stay tuned to see who that is. Um, so anyway, starting with Pulling Strings, what else? Um, I'm doing a, including them in the haul because um, I met up with Shayla recently, um, who is the designer for Pulling Strings. And she created this pair, the um, gold collection. And so I happened to snag a pair before she left town. So I think these are fabulous. Um, I wore them over the weekend and I got a million and five compliments on them. And they're the perfect pop um, to give your outfit like the right, um, just extra oomph that it may need to put it over the top. So love these and again they're crocheted so they're not heavy another cool thing i picked these up this weekend um i went by forever 21 um and i got some accessories from there so i got these bracelets these are like really cute um what i like about them is they kind of have like a snake effect to them um, by the way that they're made or like chain link, but they're stretchy and for me um, Bracelets aren't always the easiest thing to put on because I do have large um, hands I'm a woman, but I have large hands and um, So these are really simple and I like the fact that they look like they're like just a lot of bracelets stacked up And then you can kind of play with them get a little messy with them and they're super cute so I got these, and um, whenever I buy jewelry from Forever 21, I try to think of them in the sense of like, okay, since it's not expensive stuff, it's probably going to turn. So when I made the decision to buy something, I pick it based on the fact that if it turns as far as um, like turning brown-ish or like oxidized, that it's still going to look good in the end. So that's why... Um, I chose these because I feel like if they oxidize a little more than what they already are, <clears throat> excuse me, that they'll still be cute to wear. So, got that. And then I also got this bracelet. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. Um, it's spikes. And they're stretchy. And again, like I was saying, if it oxidizes and it becomes a little like more rust-like, it'll still be really cute. I like that I could wear this alone or that I can pair it with um, something else. So just to switch gears a little bit, um, some of the items I got are from Target too. So I bought this to go with it. A lot of times, like when people do like spike stuff, they'll do it with like black or whatever. And I decided to change it up a little and do it with the brown. And it has like more of a natural kind of look to it. So it's still hard, kind of edgy, but it's not like super hard and crazy. Um, and then I also bought this from Target 2 where um, you could wear it as a necklace or you can layer it and do it as a bracelet. So I got this. I think that's really cute. You could actually layer it like three times, but just for video sake, I'm just going to layer it twice. And you could wear all of them together. And see, it still like has that edgy look to it, but it's not like extra hard. Um, and then, like I said, cool thing is that this is stretchy. So I'm going to be wearing this a lot. Let's go back to the Forever 21 stuff. So I know that like the little like thin, like friendship type bracelets, um, just really soft feminine uh, string bracelets are in so I picked these up I thought they're really cute and stretchy so again stretchy is always good for me you can make them tighter too if you like and I just like that it's like fun um let's see I think I have it on right okay, there we go so I like that they're fun 
and they kind of dangle a little bit and um, it has like a cross and a dove so I thought that was really cute and then like a bead and stars I have this necklace from Forever 21 which I really love again I picked it because it's gold but if it oxidizes it's still gonna look really good and um, it's pretty large I've worn it shoot, I think once already once or twice but it's definitely a statement piece so you really don't need that much to go with it in order to like make your outfit look really cute so when I wore this necklace I did a t-shirt and some like harem pants and some sandals and it was really cute I got a lot of compliments that day um, this would be really cute with like a strapless dress um, too as well just because it have more focus around your neck um, and you could pretty much pair it with anything like I said I wore it with a t-shirt so you could do like a t-shirt and jeans or something like that really simple but again um, as far as wearing the necklace it kind of elevates the outfit and takes it to a different level so I really love this I'm glad I bought it all right, so um, I got this necklace, which I showed you guys already that you can wear as a bracelet. And then I also got it in white. Um, you could wear them together, um, which I thought is really cool if I did that. Or I could wear them apart. And I could wear them together as a necklace or a bracelet. So I thought that was really cool. And then with the rhinestones, it definitely um, has like a lot of pop to it. So I thought that was cute. And I don't think that... Um, it's something that'll go out of style super soon, so I can have these pieces for a while and just keep wearing them different ways. So I really like uh, that about these two pieces that I got. Some other things that I got, I got these. Um, I actually got them from a beauty supply. So I snagged these. They were like super inexpensive. I think I paid like $2 for them or some like ridiculous amount. So I should have bought more than one pair because they'll probably turn um, and get all like rusty like. But hey, I haven't worn them yet. But yeah, I thought they were super cute. I don't think that they need anything either. Like a lot of the earrings that people are wearing have like the beads and stuff, you know, at the bottom. But I don't think they really need anything. They say enough by themselves. And then um, I got the classic uh, bamboo earrings which these make your outfit like you can have on anything and if you put these on it's just like really cute whenever I, I have like a few pair of these and whenever I wear them I get like so many compliments so I just got an extra pair just so that I'll have them in my arsenal in case my other one something happens to them but yeah you can never go wrong with a good pair of uh, bamboos so yeah and that's pretty much it for my haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. So before I go, I'm going to announce the winner for the Pulling Strings giveaway. And... According to Random.org, the winner is Sexy Toria. And I will be contacting you so that you can claim your prize. And congratulations. And I hope to do another giveaway soon. Thank you guys for watching, and I will talk to you later. Bye.